Hey guys, so today is Thursday on This Is Our Story, and I am back with yet another video. How exciting. <laughs> so this week on This Is Our Story, as most of you may know, or all of you that have watched this week, is Advice Week, and I have no clue what to talk about for this video. I consider videos like this to be a challenge for me because it's really hard to give other people advice when you don't know like what they need advice on and stuff so I will just try my best. So this week I wanted to give you guys some advice on how to make the best of what you have in front of you and I guess in a way this is gonna kind of be a spin-off of my video that I did for insecurities week because I'm really proud of that video it's probably my favorite video that I've ever put up on this channel so I decided that I would just kind of like I said do a little spin-off and tell you guys, as a continuation of that video, how it is that you can make the best of what you have in front of you. So the first thing that I want to mention is that, you know, we never really know when our last day here on this earth is. And as scary as that is to think about, it's really true. And if we just kind of like sit at home and be couch potatoes and do nothing all day, then we're not really making anything of our lives. And I realized that way later than I should have. So this past year, I have probably accomplished more things so far than I have in a while before in my life, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of people hit milestones at certain ages. But since I realized this so late on in my life, I actually reached a couple of those milestones this year. And by this past year, I mean the first couple of months so far of 2014. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll kind of explain my story a little bit. So, so far this year, I have got a job and my license all within the same week. I realized that I was doing nothing with my life, wasn't getting anywhere, wasn't doing anything. Like I said, I literally sat in this bed right here when I got home from school and watch YouTube videos, ate dinner, and came back and watched more YouTube videos. I was the laziest human being ever. And I would deny my laziness to anybody who said I was lazy. I would just say that I didn't have a life. But now that I go back and think about it, I was lazy. I could have had my license, I could have had a job, I could have been doing something with my life, but instead I chose to sit right here in this bed and do nothing. So now, I am the busiest that I've ever been. I work every single day. I go to school every day for several hours. It's not really that long because I only have a few classes. But then I come home and I have to do homework and make time for a social life and all this other stuff. So I've just been like really busy. My life for the past like three weeks has been a whirlwind. I've like not had hardly any time to do anything and that's why my videos have been slacking so much. So I apologize for that, but I'm not used to this whirlwind of a life that I've been living lately. So that's kind of my little explanation off of the sidetrack from this video. But that's really like the biggest thing that I've realized lately and advice that I can give to you guys is just like make something of your life. And I feel like right now, you know, I'm not on that track 100%. I feel like there's more that I could do, but right now I'm just kind of like trying to do something with the time that I have and the capabilities I have in my town, if that makes sense. I'm from a really small town where there's not much to do and not many people to see. And you know, there's not big opportunities like you would have living somewhere in like LA or New York or places that have like, you know, big opportunities for you and stuff. So I feel like right now, the best that I can do is to be, you know, supporting myself, growing up a little bit, and just kind of, like I've said, trying to make the best of what I have in front of me. I feel like, you know, giving myself things to do and kind of occupying my time has really, really, really helped with my insecurities a lot. I don't mind, like, talking to people now as much. Like, I used to be really shy when I was younger. But the more that I've grown up and the older I've gotten and the more experiences I've had, I really, you know, just have learned that you can't just expect people to like you. 
and you can't just expect yourself to get along with everyone. You have to make the best of yourself, who you are, and just go out there and just meet people. If you're the type that waits for somebody to come and talk to you like I am, we need to like power together and let loose and let go of that because I've learned that I set myself back from so many opportunities thinking that people are mad at me or they hate me or think I'm stuck up just because I won't talk to them and you know once I talk to them people actually realize that I'm really not that terrible of a person and that I try my best to get along with everyone so it's really difficult when people think that you're all stuck up because you won't even speak a word to them but you're just too shy to say anything and you know there's nothing that you can really do about that that's just your personality and how you are where is this video going anyway I don't even know if I stayed on the track of doing something with your life and you know making the best of what you have but that's the number one big thing I can do is just do something like it doesn't have to be anything huge it doesn't have to be a milestone it can just be getting out being active and doing something that you're not used to doing it makes a big difference. Also, I want to take a little spin off of what Laura's video was about yesterday. It's really awesome and feels really good to be spontaneous in your life. And, you know, you might say, like, what if, you know, I'm spontaneous and it ends up turning into something that is not what I wanted? All of those results are just a risk of being spontaneous. It's a risk that you have to take if, you know, you want to be spontaneous then go for it like go on a random road trip with your best friends do something you've never done try new foods just take a road trip and drive like don't even have a set destination just go somewhere it's so much fun to be spontaneous like my favorite things in the world are just the random road trips that I take just like oh hey you want to go to so and so today and we just drive like it's so much fun just to be spontaneous and do something that you're not expecting and that you know you don't even realize that you have a ton of fun doing and that's something that I hope that everyone gets to experience at least once in their life if not multiple times so I hope that this was somewhat helpful of advice I don't even know what I was talking about half this video but I just hope that you guys liked it and enjoyed my you know random rants about being spontaneous and doing something with your life so I will see you guys next week for a brand new video. Bye!